Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Donna, and today we're talking about getting rid of our old ways. As we continue in our conversation about holy living, today we're going to look at what Paul says in Colossians 3, 8 through 11. But before we go there, I want to lay a little context. The book of Colossians was written to the church in Colossae. Their congregation was comprised of mostly Gentile believers, that means anyone who wasn't born a Jew, and a small number of Jewish believers. During this time period, many of the Jews in this region had allowed their culture and theology to be influenced and shaped by the various philosophical voices of their day. The challenge this combination of believers all being under the same roof created was that false teachings began to spread and infiltrate their community. Many Jews tried to embrace the gospel of Jesus while still clinging to their distorted doctrines and old practices. And at the same time, the Gentile believers, unfamiliar with any religious background, were navigating the gospel for the first time, leaving them vulnerable to these misleading influences. So Paul writes the book of Colossians as a theological remedy for the church in Colossae to clear up any misconceptions about the gospel and rid them of any heretical teachings they had adopted into their doctrine. Now that we understand a little bit more about where Paul is coming from, let's look at our verses for today in Colossians 3, 8 through 11. But now put away all the following, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and filthy language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self. You are being renewed in knowledge according to the image of your creator. In Christ, there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. In this section of chapter three, Paul is laying the groundwork for what it means to take on the life of the new man. As he states in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away and see the new has come. As Jesus followers, our old sinful self has died and now we have new life in Christ. Now that we've been reborn, we need to begin the work of casting off all the old ways and characteristics of our sinful nature. We are not slaves to sin anymore. And as Jesus followers, we need to begin living holy and set apart. Each day we should strive to grow in our knowledge of Jesus and continually cast off our old sinful practices in order for our lives to reflect the image of Jesus. Another thing Paul highlights at the end of our passage for today is that we are all equal in God's eyes. When he says in Christ, there is no Greek or Jew, no slave nor free and so forth. He says, no matter how you enter the kingdom, now that you are saved and are a follower of Jesus, you are all equal in God's eyes. We are all sons and daughters of the King called to live holy and righteous according to his word. Here is my encouragement for you today. No matter if you're just starting out in your journey with Jesus or you've been following him for a long time, we are all asked to live a life that is holy and righteous before the Lord. The truth of the matter is we are all human, imperfect as a result, and will at times fall short. If one of the old self characteristics listed in our passage today is something that you still struggle with, I encourage you to lay it before the Lord today. How do you do that? Through prayer. Ask the Lord to help you to overcome and cast off all the characteristics of your old self through the power of the Holy Spirit. Ask him if there's any new habits or disciplines that you can develop to keep you from reverting back to those old practices. Lastly, be in his word daily. Allowing our hearts and minds to be renewed with the truth of God's word is one of the best ways to combat the sinful desires of our flesh and the old habits of our sinful nature. And it allows us to continue walking towards holiness, living a life that is worthy of the call that we have received. 